curves in the plane can be specified in two fundamentally different ways. Now you've probably seen these before, but you may not be familiar with some of the terminology. So let's go over that. Curves can be defined implicitly or parametrically. An implicit formulation of a curve represents it as the set of solutions to some equation. So let's say uh, y equals x squared minus 3. You're used to thinking of that as a graph of a function. But really, you can have much more complicated expressions, the solutions to which give a curve in the plane, something like x squared plus y squared equals 4. Now you know the shapes associated to both of these equations, but you could write down something really complicated, and then who knows what it is. The other way to specify a curve is parametrically. That is, you choose some parameter and you specify the x and y coordinates as a function of it. For example, if your parameter is t and you say what x of t is and y of t is, then you think about that parameter as something like time and you're tracing out the curve given the x and y coordinates. Now these parametrizations you see on the right are giving you exactly the same curves as you see on the left. They're just formulated in a different manner. Now each of these two ways of doing things, implicitly, parametrically, have advantages, disadvantages. You're going to want to be able to go back and forth between them. But the 2D world, well, that's great, but there's much more out there. So we're going to take things up a notch and work in 3D. Now we could work with curves in 3D, but it's going to be more to our purposes to take a look at surfaces. And though these might not be as familiar, they are also specified in the same two complementary ways. We can talk about specifying a 2D surface in 3D implicitly or parametrically. Implicitly, we simply write down an equation involving three variables, say x, y, and z. And the solutions to those equations are going to give some two-dimensional surface. Maybe you recognize the surfaces associated to these. For a parametric representation, we need not one parameter, but two parameters to specify a 2D surface, something like uh, north-south and east-west, or latitude and longitude. Well, let's say those parameters are, I don't know, s and t, you could choose whatever you want, then you need to specify what the x, the y, and the z coordinates are as a function of those two parameters. Now these parametrizations that you see on the right are giving you the exact same surfaces that you see on the left, but it's a little hard to see. Let's get some practice working with surfaces. Here's a problem. Find a parametrization for the surface that is given implicitly by the equation 2x cubed minus y plus 3z squared equals 5. Well, in this case, we need two parameters, let's say s and t. And what I'm going to do is say, hey, look, there's a y that's sitting all by itself. So if I represent x as s and z as t, then I can write out the y coordinate from that as a function of x and z. That is, as a function of s and t. And that's it. That's my parameterization right there. Now that's not always going to work, but this implicit equation was simple enough that we could manipulate it and get some very simple parameters in there. Here's another problem. Find an implicit equation for the surface that is given parametrically by the following. x equals s, y equals t squared, and z is the square root of s squared minus 3t squared. Now, when I look at what's under that square root, I can see a t squared, which I could replace with y. I can see an s squared, which I could replace with x squared. And now, after those substitutions, I have an equation that involves x and y and z. I can simply say z equals the square root of x squared minus 3y. Maybe I want to square both sides of that and then rearrange the terms to get 3y equals x squared minus z squared. Can I do that? Well, yes, but you've got to be a little bit careful when you have things like square roots. If I have a negative number under there, ooh, that's, that's going to be bad. We're not going to worry about those sorts of issues 
too much, but you should be aware that they exist and that you need to be careful.